you got to talk into the mic. <laughs> All right, Johnny, you got to get over here, bud. Get over here, bud. Johnny, get over there. All right, I'm going to okay. go over there, but it doesn't okay. work as well. We don't I can't care get how the it works as well. We want it to work good here. We All right. want it to work good for her. You got it. Film noir. Now, Kalila, yes. tell me a little bit about Mohammed. Now, we did a story about the early days. We did a story about when he came back. We talked a little bit about how he called you today. Mm -hmm. Let's talk just for a second about his feelings towards the other folks that he was in the ring with, his contemporaries, his peers. Um, what does he feel today about Foreman and... Um, the other guy, Frazier. Frazier. Well, you know what? Muhammad Ali was his own promoter. He was his own self-promoter. Uh, I mean, who does that? I mean, uh, the Sonny Liston thing. I mean, the guy went and took a bear trap and planted it in front of his house and said that he was going to get this ugly bear, and he set the trap and everything. Right. And uh, That's they great. couldn't believe it. And the cops start coming around and said, this guy got a bear trap for this guy. What do you do? Who does that? Now, I mean, that brought a lot of attention to him in the fight with Sonny Lister. And when he fought uh, Floyd Patterson, he had a bushel of uh, carrots in front of it because he called him the rabbit. I mean, who does that? Half of the fight has already, has already won just with him intimidating him every time. Well, isn't that the way it all is always? I mean, that's what Sung Soo says. He says the fight's over before it gets started yeah, half that, the time. Well, you know what? In boxing, they don't usually do that. And I asked Muhammad a long time ago, why you do stuff like that? He said, well, a long time ago, I used to go to uh, the wrestling match in which he gorgeous George. Sure. And this guy, he had blonde hair, he had blue eyes, he would have a comb, he'd have two blondes on his shoulder, and he would say, I'm the prettiest wrestler ever and just come and they would hate him so I much never thought of this he packed the whole arena so th they wanted to see somebody actually hurt this pretty guy and ali said if he can do it i can do it that's where the I, gorgeous yes, george gorgeous i never george. thought of that yes gorgeous george oh used my to, god he used to love wrestling and he used to love the to see gorgeous george the pretty boy just the, like him yeah and he he said People would fill the ring size up, and he would this see all the great. audience. He said he would fill that ring more than any other wrestler because he said he was pretty. Now, wait a minute. Now, I know we only got a couple minutes left. I want you to do the poem, even if I don't do my clothes. I want the poem. You want the poem? I want the poem. Well, you know what? Uh, back in those days, they would call the, the darker rates uh, spooks. So it was like the spook satellite kind of thing that the Russians do. So I just figured uh, Ali would only name the round he would go down, and he would say, I'd get Archie Moore in four, or I'll send you to heaven in seven. But that was the extent of his his uh, poetic justice. So I figured I'd write something for him. So he ins actually inspired me to write a poem, and I used to mimic the way he would say it. I would mimic. This is the legend of Cassius Clay, the most beautiful fighter in the world today. This fist fight is great. He's got speed and endurance. But if you're trying to sign a fight, don't increase your insurance. This kid's got a left. This kid's got a right. Look at the kid carry the fight. All the crowd's getting frantic. There's not enough room. The alley lowers the boom. Who would have thought when he came to the fight, they sell spook sunlight. No one would dream when they put, the, put down their money. They see a total eclipse of the sun. Oh, that's great. I want to thank oh, I want to thank Khalil Ali. Johnny, thanks for bringing her in. You know, if you missed today's show, it's going to be up on our webpage, www.freedombusiness. How much time do I got left? One minute? Okay, I got to go do my speed round. Got to let me thank everybody. All right, I want to thank Kind Snacks, South Florida Business and Wealth Magazine, the CCIMs, U Health, Warren Henry Automotive, the NFL Alumni, Social Media, 305, the Aztec Group, the Bergstrom Center for Real Estate Studies, U Health, and of course, thank you to our listeners. Go to our Facebook page, like our show, go to Facebook, tell us who you want to see, Twitter, Action Free, Freedom Business. If you missed today's show, it'll be up on our webpage, www.freedombusiness.com. This is Jim Freed for Freedom Business. Look for us next week on 888 AM. Why? Because I think by now, you know I love to do this. Remember, this is not a rehearsal. This is your life. The person wants to do something finds a way. The other finds an excuse. Now go out there and make it happen. Thank you, Magnum Energy Solutions and Engineer Tax Services and uh, Early Shares. I'm out. Thank you, everybody. Yay! Yay! That's a wrap. Mask off the long, long range, or you don't mess around with Jim. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Leroy Brown, baby, from my hometown. All right, <laughs> best show ever. 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 ever.
I thought that was last week. No, no, it's gonna be like that every week. That's my every girl. Week, That's week. my girl. Every week. Oh yeah. All right. Keep it hot. Keep All right. Fireball. Keep oh, fireball. it's like a fireball. Fireball. All right, let's go. We're gonna do some more. Let's do the after show. Okay. Overtime. <laughs> Overtime. <laughs>